Alright, and we're back. Um, yep, I went ahead and just came back here and got into a couple fights, and uh, Duster gained a level. So we'll come and open this to get a nice little magic tart. That'll be really useful. This this area gives you a lot of PSI point increasing items, oh my god. Alright, so now that that's done with, you can head over here for another item box, which gets you know, some nice double jerky. Again, we're gonna need it all because I was stupid and forgot to bite... To bite? <laughs> to buy, um, uh, items. No, 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 don't even... Okay, good. <laughs> I thought he was gonna come after us. So, um, let's see what to talk about. So, I've been watching some, um, videos as of late. Well, you know, I do all the time, but, um... I was watching some Game Grumps the other day. I don't normally... Oh, by the way, that's a that's a dead end over there. Don't do it. And this machine here, he is out of order. It's the only one in the uh, area that's out of order, but still. But I'm gonna leave this battle in. I was watching some Game Grumps the other day, and... For those of you who... Well, for like the two of you who don't know... Um... Because everyone knows who the Game Grumps are at this point. They're essentially just a collaboration, um... Between John Tron and Ego Raptor. And, ooh, he got numb. And they essentially make, you know, video footage of them playing games and talking over it. You might say you could call it Let's Plays, but they hate that term, so it's not really, even though it's what it is. And they got to talking about, um, in one of their Sonic 06 videos, they were saying something like how it was turning into a Let's Play and that they were watching someone who I guess was like, hey, there's a treasure chest over here. And I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys, I'm kind of worried about my, uh... Oh, I got I snuck up on him. I'm kind of worried about... That's kind of creepy. I'm kind of worried about my own commentary with uh, that kind of thing. Because I'm like, wait, do, do I sound like that? I know I'm explaining with my commentary, kind of like Slim Kirby, but... Do I really sound like that? They didn't watch my videos, obviously, it's just that they watched someone that was like that. But when they said that, I was thinking back on my commentary, and I realized that I do point out the obvious quite often. Like, I'd say, if you come over here, you'll find a treasure chest. And I guess they really hate that kind of commentary, but the thing is, is... I don't know, is it is it really that terrible that someone's like that? I mean, Let's Plays can be either a, a walkthrough or a, a vlog experience, or just sharing love of a game. I mean, they're kind of diverse, and in, I think for me personally, with the way Let's Plays are, there's a new enemy here, um, I'll go ahead and fight it, but I think with the way that Let's Plays are, uh, real quick before I go on that though, the Rock Lobster has a lot of defense, but its weakness is actually Thunder, so you're gonna want to take advantage of that, see, I'm only doing 45. But I think for me with Let's Plays, Let's Plays are kind of a personal thing. I mean, everyone does them differently, and no one really does them the same. Like, I kind of go off tan- You did not get numb. You just attacked me. I go off on tangents sometimes when I feel like it, but... Then again, you know... I kind of worry about it. I really do. I'm really worried about my commentary quite often, because... You know... I sometimes don't feel like I'm quite good at it, and I know that sounds like I'm just doing that to be an attention hog, but I really do worry about it. I mean, nobody ever says anything to me about it, about the quality of it, so I guess it's okay. But I don't want to fall into some sort of trap to where all I'm doing is sitting here playing a game for you guys, and just going and saying, So if you walk over here, there's an item, and it's really cool. I mean, I just say that stuff because it's my honest opinion. And that's kind of what a Let's Play is, it's a personalized playing experience. If you don't want to do something, then you don't really have to. I mean, some people like the Sample Man, for example, who... Here's a little shout-out for you, dude, even though you don't really need it, because I probably won't help you out much. His style is a bit more of the silly type. I mean, he doesn't do walkthroughs, he's just completely ridiculous and random. I mean, sometimes he makes really weird political jokes and it kind of goes over my head. But, I mean, it's his personal thing, that's just what he does. And I don't think that it's right to make fun of people for doing that kind of thing. I mean, obviously there's Red Supre, which I... I don't really like for that reason. 
granted, I will say that some of the stuff that they do review is bad, and you know, it's stuff that I wouldn't personally put up on YouTube. But still, I'm, I guess I'm just a, what you'd call a goody-goody, and I don't like to do that kind of stuff. I just, it bothers me to think that people would take the time out of their lives to, rather than do something productive, to sit there and continue to mock people. I mean, I think we have enough people in this world as it is doing enough bad stuff, so why contribute to it any further? I mean, that's just the way I feel about it, though. I mean, Retsupre found a kind of a following with what they do, and I guess people enjoy it. And I will go- I will concede some of the stuff they do, uh, they do, uh, Retsupre is pretty bad. But, you know, that's another thing, is I do kind of worry sometimes. Is my content bad to the point to where it can Retsupre- can get Retsupre? Honestly, I think if it did happen, I'd just laugh and say whatever and go on anyway. <laughs> but, you know, that's just me. Anyway, I should probably mention, if you take this little, as you probably noticed, because I probably don't need to tell you this, if you take this little path to the le to this uh, left over here, it's a nice little refresher for you so you don't have to constantly go up back there. So you can take all of these holes and get all the treasures that are in them. In this one is an enemy, which... I guess we'll have to fight now. And a little conch shell that's pretty useful. I think. Actually, no, I lied. <laughs> I don't know if it's useful. <laughs> but I'm gonna take it anyway, just in case. I don't think it is. I'm pretty sure it's not, but you never know. It might sell for a lot. Or we probably use it for something. I don't know. I never could quite figure that out. But then again, I also haven't played this game in a long time, so... Dunno. I'm gonna take it just to be safe. And I know it might look really ridiculous, me constantly going back and forth between these things, but really, you don't have the time to go to a new area. And Kubator is getting feverish. Alright. Normally, I shouldn't be happy about that, but... In this game. So yeah, I was kind of wondering, what are your guys' thoughts on, um... Game Grumps? And their... Whole thing, and what are your guys' thoughts? Are they right? Are Let's Plays really uncreative? Because, I mean... I will admit, I didn't think it was that hard, but once I got into Let's Playing, it can get pretty tough trying to keep up commentary and keeping stuff entertaining enough for for however long a video can, needs to be, or however long you want it to be. So to be fair, I personally find it to be really tough. And I think what ultimately happened is they just watched the Let's Plays that were particularly bad or not their kind of Let's Play. And I mean, I don't also think it's fair to completely just negate an entire- oh, there we go. Defense down Omega, sweet. I don't think it's fair to completely negate a video type, because, you know, it's just that they saw one person and immediately assumed that everyone's the same. Or maybe they saw a bad group of people, because the Let's Play community in and of itself is really kind of becoming, I think the term here is saturized, because there's so many of us now. And I just think that maybe that has to do with a, a little bit of it. I'm pretty sure we... Yeah, we came out of that bottom one. Those two back there were linked. And I think that could be part of why... Why they see it in the way that they do. I mean, obviously my videos aren't going to be the shining example to change their minds. But, well, it's just my opinion. But, you know, I still don't think it's very fair. Because if you want my opinion, I'm not too fond of JonTron's videos, because... What he's trying to do is trying to tell a cohesive thing, but he completely mars it by being ridiculous and really just crazy. And it, it gets really old when he does it every two minutes. And it's like, I'm trying to take what he's saying seriously because what he's saying is, you know, a valid opinion. But with the amount of ridiculousness in it, it it's just, it's hard for me to, you know, do that kind of thing. But again, I don't enjoy those types of videos. I don't enjoy that take on videos, and if I were to make my own in his style, I'd probably do it a lot differently than the way he does it, but that's okay because that's my preference. Which is again why I don't think it's okay to completely negate a video type just because of that, because obviously, JonTron is a very successful YouTuber, and for that I have respect for him because he's so because he managed to find a niche, which is a really big niche if you really think about it, and it worked for him. So, I don't know. I guess 
I shouldn't worry about it so much that I, as I do, and I should just keep making videos anyway. And honestly, the only reason I'm talking about a tangent is because this section is really kind of boring. <laughs> and there's not much I could really say about it besides, you're walking this way. I don't want to do that. So yeah, I kind of want your guys' thoughts on it. And how convenient, guess what? We ended up making it here in this section, and this is the last part of the area. Awesome. So now I'm going to do a bit of, after this oxygen section, going to do some double checks, because we got a boss fight coming up. Alright, cool. So now we got that recovered. Let's go ahead and check our PSI. Does anyone need really bad healing? Let's go ahead and fully recover everyone, because this boss generally... He sucks. And, uh, let's go ahead and... No, I don't want to equip. We want goods. Yeah, she needs some PSI points. And I think we'll give her... We'll give her the other tart. There. And that. Let's give some healing items to Boney. And uh, that too. I don't think we'll need all those because when I practice this, this boss is really easy. Still. And then we'll give Boney the bomb too, just so we can do damage. Let's see. Alright, and there we go. This, by the way, is a save frog over here. So if you're playing the game normally, I recommend saving, but I don't think I need to. And uh, now we're going to get sucked up into a boss fight. Awesome. So we got Master Eddie here. Master Eddie, as with all bosses in this section, in this area, is weak to thunder. And he's got some attacks that really suck, <laughs> like most bosses at this point in the game do. One of which is Whirlpool, which will essentially deal about 120 damage unchecked to your entire party. Yeah, yeah that move sucks. <laughs> Just saying. So let's go ahead and do the pencil rocket. He's also got a lot of speed. At least for me, he doesn't. Oh, it didn't work. So he's gonna do. Oh, wow. Last time I did this, he started with the the whirlpool. So now everyone's got a shield on, which is good. Do some PK thunder in here. Yeah, see, he takes 160 per hit, and you didn't hit anyone, Kumator. What are you doing? See, so yeah, now I'm gonna save Lucas for. Oops. Yeah, I want to do that. I'm going to save Lucas for the healer, as that's generally what he should be in these kinds of fights, in boss fights. you got to be careful with that. That's how I play, you know. You want to do something else with him? Sure, go for it. Oh, sorry, I got to scratch my nose there. So, that's really all there is to this boss. I would recommend getting his attack lowered, including the shield thing, because see, that's 25. And I have proven... From personal experience that his whirlpool uh damage is also affected by his physical attack damage so you do want to do that just to be safe because his attacks do hurt and that's really all there is to this boss fight he's honestly not that hard but <laughs> trust me there's a good reason he's not that hard you just survived one of the most annoying sections in the game and here comes the whirlpool see 43 damage to the entire party and that would have done a whole lot more damage if I hadn't had shields on and lowered his attack. Yeah. So you can tell... Oh, come with Tora. What's with my bad luck in recording this right now? Come on. Last time I did this, she didn't miss that much. Yeah, bonus shield went down, so we gotta recover that. Oh, come on! Really, game? Really? You're gonna do that to me? Ugh. Sometimes. Oh, 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 okay, good. <laughs> good. Got the shield back up just in time. Gonna need to heal Lucas next turn. I'm getting kind of low. Yeah, after that facade fight, you don't want to take bosses lightly, because that was my ultimate weakness against... Come on, Kumatora. Oh my god, Kumatora, what is your problem? What is your problem? I'm about to fire you from our party if you keep this up. I am about to freaking fire you. Come on. You did not miss this much when we practiced. I mean, Thunder does not miss that often. See? There you go. There you go. That's better. Now keep it up. You don't got the, you don't got the PSI points to waste. Oh no, Whirlpool. Come on, there we go. 
And it didn't hit anyone. Poop. Yes! Okay. Master Eddie is down. And he generates a huge whirlpool that... Oh my god. Oh my god. Not good. That's not good. That is also not good. Oh, and the worst part? You don't get anything for that fight. Yeah. Thanks, game. I love you too. And... What are you guys doing over there? And Oh. Thanks, I guess. Hmm. Looks like I made it to Tane Tane Island in one piece. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Kumatora. <laughs> Damn. All our items got washed away and we have no energy left. Let's try to find some D. Right? H hey! Hey there! This is an emergency frog message. Can you hear me? This is an emergency message. Your guys' energy is at its very lowest. It's fallen as low as it can get. What? What? Oh. Jeez. That's not good. So, uh, looks like we're here at Tane Tane. And, uh, that's a... Sleeping frog. Real. Please excuse me, I'm currently in a stomach. Oh. I was the frog that shouted that emergency message just now. Got a set of lungs, frog. Very circumstances led me to be inside this snake. Anyway, never mind that. You should probably save your game, will you? Eh, not right now. With, will the snake's gastric juices win, or will my focused determination prevail? I didn't get swallowed. This is actually a one-on-one -on -one all-out battle. Oh, is that, uh... Is that so? Well, um... Good luck with that, Froggy. And, uh, hey, we got some mushrooms here. Do not eat too many. Heh <laughs> could make a really, really old joke that would make someone that doesn't watch my videos very angry, but I don't think I will. Anyway, we're gonna eat these mushrooms next time on Mother 3. I hope you guys enjoyed my video, and I hope you guys enjoyed my little tangent, too. Hopefully it wasn't too lame or boring for you guys. And, uh, I want your opinion on that whole thing. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. And uh, I will see you guys in the next episode, which is going to be a very special episode, and I hope you guys are looking for it, forward to it. So, uh, see you guys then. Later.